very lucky here on our small farm to have this paddock in the top of the walled garden. These are all plum trees or scrub plum trees, apple trees, cooker apples, pears. But this paddock I use during lambing time for six sheep or any of those kind of things. There's this lean-to here, which is also shelter for when the lambs are here. So this is the, I'll be using, coming January, I start lambing. So on the other side of the wall are some of our woods, our small woods. So this, when I was growing up, up here was full of raspberry canes, Logan breeze, black currants, white currants, red currants. This is how my grandparents made their living was soft fruit, vegetable, and apples. And up here is the orchard. This also will have the yews and lambs in winter when uh, lambing in January and February. There's a pheasant taking flight. So this is the orchard. So once the lambs are mature enough from being in here, they then come up here to this orchard, which has a lovely growth of grass on it. And there's a lot of windfall apples as well. But there's a shed over here so that they have shelter, extra, extra shelter. There's a shed, it's got some hay bales in it, but there's also walls on some sides of the orchard. You can see there's a wall over there, and over there there's a hedge, hedge row, and there, that little fence is surrounding our beehives. So I started off with, uh, two and now I have five and it was from a EU funded bee project so we had one year we had scientists here that uh, came like several times a week for all the summer months uh, learning about bees and there were bumblebees and honeybees and wild bees and single bees they were assessing because of our orchard so this is the orchard, and there's walls on a lot of sections, and then the woods are down next to the orchard. So this is um, where the yews and lambs will be after they've had their first stint in the walled garden paddock. So these are two of the smaller paddocks that are here on the farm that I use for my sheep.